Okay, just a few more things here. What I did was I, offline, I took one of the little gouges and I went right up underneath for his nose and then cut a little piece out right in between, okay? So if you can see that, um, yeah, there's a little bit of an indentation there, okay, for the lip and his nose, all right? So that's all we're going to do with that. Now, I'm going to concentrate on the hat next. I kind of sprayed it. I already have it marked up uh, where I want these, you know, they have little seams in this hat. And so uh, we're just going to go ahead and put those in. Now you can either use your knife or you can use a little V tool like I'm going to to make the top portion of the hat. Just taking it very slowly, ever so slowly, and because this is the end piece here, okay? So you just want to be, you just want to be very, very conscious of making sure you're turning it as you're making that. Okay, just like, whoops, <laughs> doesn't help to drop it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go around it again, have it raised a little bit. All right, just like so. You see it coming? There, okay. Good. So all I wanted to do was make a little a little knob up there. Let me take it back here and just take a quick look at it and see what else I need to do to it. Uh, let me make that a little deeper back here. Just bear with me for a minute because I can't always see everything up there. I apologize for that, but I want to make sure I get it right. Sure don't want to ruin it at this point. It's kind of hard to ruin a... a um, a carving. I mean, you can. Um, you just, you know, if you happen to do something wrong, you're just going to have to revamp it somehow. Okay. So that's the knobby I got uh, on there now. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I'm going to take the same V tool and I'm going to go up towards the hat and then down as the seam of the hat. Okay. Just like so. And I'm going to do each one up to the knob, up to the knob there. I don't know what they call that, but anyway, and down. And we've got a couple more. So you've got to just kind of be careful because you're going against the grain. This is at the end. I did spray it to make it a little bit easier to cut. All right. I don't know if you can see that really well. Hoping that you can. Sometimes on the camera I can't see it until I have it loaded up to see what it looks like. Everything is so small. Alright. And our last one. Alright. We did a lot of detail on him. I'm very happy that we did it. You know, I took the time to I know this in the last few videos it's been a little more in depth and that's okay you know we want to I'm going to go to a wider V cut I just don't want that as prominent as that so let's just go back over it that's smaller I don't know what I picked up there hang on where did the other one go it's here I know it's here here it is okay we're just going to follow this out a little bit and you want those lines to be roughly the same size, okay? You don't want it real thick on one, real deep in one area and not deep, you know, so that you see there's a seam in that hat, okay? That's all that we're doing. The hat's done. The body's pretty well finished. Now the shoes. Now, I know these shoes, they have cleats to them. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it, and I put a a a little bit of a a round thing here. I was looking at some shoes, and there's so many different variations. I just had this line going up and around. Okay, we're going to follow that with a V tool, and we're going to follow this portion here with a V tool. All right, and then we'll cut that out with a knife. 
little, well, you know what? Let me think this over. Um, I think we're going to do most of this with a knife. Let's spray it up good. And, let, well, let's take, I'm allowed to change my mind from time to time. Let me see what I can use here. Let's do the bottom portion first. All right, let's get that out first. Let me use a wider one. Those little ones are tough to use once in a while. I think they need to be sharpened up, so they're, they're starting to tear. When you notice things starting to tear, then you notice it's time to switch things around, okay? And then we're going to go down this way. I don't know if we're going to put cleats on it or not. I haven't figured that out yet. I know what I like to do, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, sometimes when I do things on tape, I'm trying things for the first time as well. So, you know, if I make a mistake, you will definitely see it. And like I said, a lot of my carvings, I don't edit anything. We're going to take that up and around. Just like so. And we're going to do that here as well up and around. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put two little V cuts there. Much easier doing it this way. All right. And we'll paint them up kind of nice. What I was going to do was to make little notches to make it look like cleats and I'm not sure if I want to do that I'm thinking folks I know I shouldn't be doing that on tape but I do you know sit here and wonder all right let's do this let's put a little cleats in here just like that see it ah that's that's what I wanted I had these marked. Let me remark these. So I, I did three on either side. I thought that would be plenty. And we'll, we'll go in and All right, that's the cleats. Now I'm going to have to fix that a little bit here and there and trim this out in between a little bit. Just like so. So the cleats are sticking out a little bit. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll be back, folks, with, uh, with a couple of instructions and then I'm going to be ready to paint this puppy. Alright, I'm going to finish that offline, but you get the idea. They're going to look like cleats on the bottom. And uh, I think that will work out just fine. Alright, so everything else is done on him. I don't know if anything else I need to do. Um, I'll put a number 23 <laughs> on him. Um, there's a reason for that and um, number 23 and uh, we'll we'll put the pinstripes on them and stuff but we'll be back with the final instructions before we paint okay bye bye <laughs>